I've shown this in a video about nearly two years back, which uh, from what I recall, I likely private the video, but this is a clip of a street preacher named Joshua Jocelyn. He's outside of Stephen Anderson Conference, opening one of the branches of their new IFB cult. And he's basically rebuking, you know, Pope Stephen Anderson for his anti-repentance heresies. And, you know, the Stephen Anderson cultists come out and essentially just accost the guy and totally just heckle him and, you know, try to, try to create a big stir you know, because that's how these guys act. When you rebuke Stephen Anderson, when you say anything about Stephen Anderson, well, of course, the, the Andersonites get into a frenzy. And you're going to see that right here. And when it comes to the Anderson's anti-repentance heresies, uh, the Apostle Peter happens to, dis to uh, disagree with Stephen Anderson in Acts 3.19, and the Apostle Paul disagrees with Stephen Anderson in Acts 17.30, Acts 28.20, Acts 20.21, and 2 Corinthians 7, verse 8-11. to So, yeah, Anderson's anti-repentance heresies are rebuked all through the book of Acts. But check this out. Watch as they accost this uh, street preacher rebuking Stephen Anderson. Because it's simple as belief. I'll tell you why. Because the Bible says, But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without yes, works yes, is dead. Your faith is no different than Disney World's faith. You just believe in what? I'm sorry, but it's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's, I'm sorry, it's except you repent, you, you shall you all likewise perish. Lord. Just for this purpose the Son of God was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. He that, is, he that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. I hope you are right now. I'm not. Can't be. That's why then shame on you. Repent of your sins and trust in Jesus Christ. He can free you from your sin. You're a heretic. Turn from unbelief is not found in the King James Bible either. Turn from unbelief is never found in the King James Bible. Stop playing cute rhetorical games and repent and trust in Jesus Christ. Thou believest there is one God. Big deal. The devils believe and tremble. What is the difference between your faith and the faith of devils? The gospel is not nothing because your lifestyle mirrors the devils that believe in Christ just like you do. The devils believe in God. So what? But wilt thou know, O vain man, the faith without works is dead? His faith is counted. That's right. But what is faith? Your faith is meaningless. Your faith is dead because it's not it is not accompanied by works. Your faith does not turn sinners into saints. Your faith does not transform people into new creatures born of God. Enjoy burning in hell, heretic. You are not preaching true faith. That is my whole point. I just quoted scripture that he totally ignored. Just quote it to me, read it to me. There's tons of scriptures right here. But I've noticed we don't want to talk about these scriptures. I've got tons of scriptures right there in that track. Right. Freedom. It's First John 1 8, what does it say? Absolutely. This will be good material. I can use. Have at it. First, first John 1 8, if you say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in. Yes, read the context. He's specifically saying if you've never <laughs> sinned, you're a liar. Of course you've there sinned. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinned. Not. That's right. Only Jesus Christ can be just through me. That's why I am not just of myself. I am just through Jesus Christ. He empowers. The Bible says, whoever believes on Jesus Christ, to them gave you power to become the sons of God. You're not a son of God. straight to hell. How about that? Do that? Ooh, you're a big shot. Okay, I you can mock. So yeah. what? I'm here trying stool. to talk you're about scriptures. You're, you're mocking. Look at you. You're mocking like your father, the devil. Shot. You're not here to talk scripture yeah. with me. I just quoted scripture to you, but you can't so hear the words of the shepherd because okay. you're insane. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. But if any man be in Stephen Anderson's gospel, he's still a sinner, admittedly. This I is the difference. Sinner, yes. Stephen Anderson's Paul gospel does not dishonor or does not disarm the sinner, Paul but rather disarms the gospel. Paul Stephen Anderson's gospel does carnal. not disarm the sinner and turn him from his sin, but rather when someone says, oh, I believe, they are free to regard iniquity in their heart, hold their hand, put this of chapter sin up to God and say, oh, you're okay with this, right? I've tried to give you pearl swine. You won't listen to them. Pearl swine? You will not. Fools make a mock at sin. Shame on you. You are belittling you're, sin. You're, you're, you're embarrassment to the Lord God. Shame on you all. I am no big shot. I am nothing. I am nothing but a messenger. I am simply reading these words, and I'm done. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Bible says, the Lord will not hear me. Your sinner's prayer never goes higher than the ceiling. Because God will not hear the prayer of a lost man hiding iniquity in his heart. 
All sin, by the way, damns the sinner. But did you know that? It's not just the sin of unbelief. Not by works of the Bible says which all we have sin damns the sinner. To his mercy, so he you have us, to repent. Not by the washing of re Notice in particular how that old Ben the Baptist guy is just very vicious in his insults, because that's kind of a consistent theme of Ben the Baptist. He seems to be one of the most rabid out of all of them. I mean, I mean some of them are kind of more meek and humble, but Ben the Baptist, he just just is rabid, just so just very bitter guy. I, I've seen stuff about him. Whenever you get on his bad side, he will just you know blow up in your face. He is a very you know bitter, hate-filled guy. You know, and not righteous anger. It's just a bunch of childish bitterness that comes out of the guy. You know. I mean, he's, he's, I don't know how old he is, but he essentially hasn't left that teenage phase of, you know, getting to a frenzy when someone, you know, essentially when you get on his bad side, he just goes into outer space, out of rage, plain and simple. But just notice that how he's rebuking them and, you know, the Andersonites, especially Ben the Baptist, the Baptist, you know, quote unquote Baptist, he's not, he has nothing in common with traditional Baptists. He supports a theocracy, Catholic style theocracy. But watch, you know, it's just funny how they all get into a frenzy because, you know, well, their heresies are getting rebuked. The new IFB cult heresies that uh, oppose repentance, biblical repentance, are getting rebuked. And of course, the cult the cult can't stand that. That's how the cult of Stephen Anderson operates. They've contradicted traditional Baptists and also the Word of God via their anti-repentance heresies and can't stand getting rebuked over it. So anyway, don't be deceived by the new IFB cult led by Pope Stephen Anderson out in Tempe, Arizona. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.